What the heck was that breaking mechanism? In just a moment, I'm going to teach you how I came up with this design and how you can implement it onto your vehicle. So stay tuned until the end. Before I get into the details of this car, I just want to let you guys know that if you want to buy this car, then hit the first link in the description. It'll take you to my website where you can order the kit. But with the shameless plug out of the way, let's get right into the video. All right, so how does this braking mechanism work? Well, normally with any gravity car, you might be using some sort of spring braking mechanism like this. So in this spring braking mechanism, as the wing out travels forward, it will eventually compress a spring and, and once the wing nut depletes all of the car's energy, it will come to a stop. However, in gravity vehicle, when you're working with a larger mass, like your entire car might be two kilograms and most of it is oriented towards the back, then it might be a little bit harder for you to actually stop because your car will have too much momentum. So what this car does is it tries to shift the center of gravity of the car right before it stops. Now what this does is it allows you to maintain the speed of your car throughout its run, but right when it gets to the point where it decelerates and compresses the spring, the weight will shift towards the front. And when that happens, because the center of gravity is closer to the braking, it is much easier for your car to slow down. And additionally, when your car actually comes to a stop from decelerating, one, your car is already stopped, but as you saw in the trailer of this video, this weight still moves forward and hits the springs where it eventually comes to a rest. So this basically shifts the weight, the center of gravity of your car and lets your car stop effortlessly. All right, so let me just quickly break down everything you will need if you want to make this adjustment to your gravity vehicle. First, you need some way to decelerate your car. Here, I used a spring, and this is probably the most inexpensive way to do that, and it honestly works just fine. Another thing you might want to consider is having your spring or your wing nut being pulled by a rubber band or some other elastic material that will be stretched out when your car moves forward and this will help slow your car down. Now it's not the best solution but it does work for most cars and you should find some success with it. But in addition to this, you will need your weight to be on some form of rails. Now, when I mean, what I mean by that is this vehicle has a weight attached to it. I'll try and see if I can show it to you guys. All right, so this weight is attached to this vehicle and it's not in one specific place. This weight is able to freely move and it moves with gravity. So if I just leave this weight up here, down. So it just moves by itself. It's not attached to anything. It's just able to freely slide. Now you may think that this might cause some problems for you when you're launching your car on the ramp. So something you might be concerned about like I was talking about is that you're, you, might, you might think that the weight when you launch the car will do something like that and might fall prematurely and influence your run. But in reality, it all comes down to the principles that were the, the principles of science that we know. And what I mean is that when you drop two objects from the same height, they all drop or they all will fall at the same time. So if I were to actually launch this car off the ramp, then the weight and the car would both travel down at the same time. And because they both have the same center of mass, they are both technically being dropped from the same height if we're talking from center of mass perspective. So this weight will actually stick onto the car on this point or on the back of the car 
until this car eventually slows down. Now, once this car slows down, like you saw in that first clip of this video, this weight will move forward. And that's going to be because this vehicle itself has lost all of its energy and has, its momentum has essentially become zero. However, because this weight is not attached to the vehicle, but is, but is in turn freely on these rails, it still has momentum. And even though this car is stopped, the momentum of this weight will carry it throughout the rest of this rails, where it will eventually hit these springs. And once this weight hits the springs, it dissipates all of its energy and you come to a very, very nice stop. So this is the sort of thing that I'm trying to teach you guys and trying to get you guys to understand that, you know, one of the more interesting things in terms of braking that might give you some really great results are to have this unconventional style of braking where yes you take a very conventional idea having a spring and a decelerator but combining it with with a non-stationary weight and again the non-stationary weight helps stop your car from experiencing a lot of skidding and having too much energy when it stops and helps you greatly improve accuracy simply because your braking is a lot more accurate and like just to reiterate it's more accurate because you're avoiding a lot of the skidding that you would experience if your weight was on the was, was attached or stationary on the back of your car so that is the best gravity vehicle in my opinion for the 2020 to 2021 season now again if you wanted to get your hands on one of these vehicles you can order the kit on my website with the first link on, in the description there's currently a sale it's going to be 70 no it's uh 70 percent of the price so 30 percent off until the end of october so if you're looking to get a head start on science olympiad or you just want to build this gravity vehicle for fun hit up the link before October ends to get that special value for this kit. But I believe that's everything I had to say about this car. If you want me to go more in depth on it or if you have any questions about it that you want me to answer, leave them in the comments below. I'll get to it as fast as possible. But with that said, I'll catch you guys next time. Stay unfazed. Look at that. Get the logo on the car.